Yeah, we want to check out the dev branch because I think I have a compiled version lying around. Uh, security updates, manual update. So this was for the dig quad, but the ethernet is compiled in and the pinout is um, settable through the interface. Let's do it. Let's turn the studio lights back on a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to select this version I have here already compiled. It was for the dig quad. Pinout should be almost the same and we s I'm just going to hit update. The <laughs> The ethernet lights blinking away. I can't show you because I don't want to touch it right now. Updating, updating. Okay, so the module updated. Okay, we still have a connection. That was what I was most worried about, but I compiled ethernet into this version. Now, okay, let's show you guys the new version. Okay, forced it in there. <laughs> Are you sure the board can handle the power for those LEDs? An hour ago you said the board isn't designed to run more than three amps. You mean my Dig Uno board? Uh, the Dig Uno board is able to run um, up to 15 amps continuously. And I've tested it up to 25 amps continuously, actually. The development board, the, the ESP32 board, shouldn't run those numbers. But the Dig Uno can handle that easily. Okay, let's plug this back in here. Um, we might blow the fuse. We'll, uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the Dig Uno can easily handle 15 amps. That's no problem. And the Dig Quad can handle 30 amps. And then we're talking continuously. So all the time. And it can even, even handle more in burst. Let's say the Dig Uno can handle 25 amp burst fine. And the Dig Quad can handle a 50 amp burst fine. And this is only a 10 amp power supply, so yeah. But we have a 5 amp fuse in there, so <laughs> let's see what happens. Uh, okay, let's uh, attach LED strip 1. Uh, I have some uh, BTF 5 volt WS2812B. I believe this is the Eco variant. So we're going to mix 5 volt. WS2812B Eco or just normal WS2812B and SK6812 RGBW on the same controller. And I haven't tried this yet, but in theory, with the uh, alpha version we're running right now, uh, this should work. Okay, SK6812 RGBW, 144 LEDs, 300. Five, also 5 volt WS2812 RGB LEDs, one Dig Uno with Ethernet, and a 5 amp fuse with a 10 amp power supply. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, we'll see. Now, these are my 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 cheap fuses, and they're pretty bad actually. I don't think it'll blow at 5 amps. Uh, we'll uh, we'll see. Okay, let's uh let's just hit the power. Okay, okay, nothing blew up so far. LED preferences. So pin one, so LED outputs, we do, we have SK60, no, we have RGBW, so, or oh, sorry, uh, WS2812B, GRGB is fine, I think. We have 300 of those, and those are on pin 16, right? Okay, uh, I don't know what I fill in here, let's just save. Okay, so that made them orange. That's good. Okay, okay. Um, now we add a strip. So we want to add our second one. That is SK6812. And I believe it's on pin 3 or pin 1. I never know. I need to look it up myself. But let's just say it's on there. 144 LEDs. Save. Nice. So we just configured multi-channel from within WLED. That's awesome. Now I think I need to raise this to 444, I guess. Yeah, so now these all light up. And these light up. And now let's see, let's make it red. Okay, 
Let's make it blue. Okay. Let's make it green. Voila! We now have dual output on a Dig Uno with the interfaces configurable in the interface, the, 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 the channels or the pins. Oh, and running Ethernet too. <laughs> it's recommending a 5 volt, 25 amp power supply and I have a 10 amp connected on a 5 amp fuse. If we see an orange light here, it's the fuse glowing. <laughs> Let's do color loop again. Oh no, no, okay. color oh color loop works. Color waves. Yeah. This isn't getting too hot. No, it's not getting too hot. It's fine. Okay. Dancing shadows. So now it's basically like it was before. It's it's one giant LED strip for WLED. Let's see if we can make it segments. Let's say the first segment stops at 300. And then, I, I guess so. How does that work? It's just doing the same thing, but on two outputs. Is it the Dig Duo now? Yes, but I'm not going to change the name. <laughs> so. Should I make this like that? Is that what I'm doing wrong? So these should be 0 to 300 and this is 300 to 444. Four, four. Let's see. Yeah, now it looks like they're doing it independently. So let's say I want segment 1. I want it to do flow. Yes, okay, that was it. And then segment 0. I want to do uh, Merry Christmas. Yes. Okay. So the way to configure it is here you set the total amount of LEDs. In my case, that's 300 plus 144. And then you configure the first pin. Now, in my case, that's 16. It has 300 WS2812Bs connected. Okay. Uh, that, that's these, sorry. And then we move on. Don't pay attention to this. That's a bug. Um, then we move on to the second pin. That's pin 3 in my case, on a Dig Uno. It's connected with SK6812 RGBW. And that is LEDs 300 to 444 of the total 444 we had here. And that's it. Yeah, okay, I didn't make any changes. Um, and then I just divided them up in segments, 0 to 300, and 300 to 444, and now I can control them at the same time, so I can tell them, okay, do Meteor Smooth on both of them. Okay, it's doing that. Meteor, yeah, that's fine. Or I can say, yeah, sure, okay, but let's change this one. To noise 3 so this one is now a noise 3 and let's change this one to palette so this one yeah okay and I need this one to be less bright so you can actually see it on camera yeah that works it's amazing right yeah they've been doing great work with this this is still very much alpha this is currently in the newest uh, dev branch, you can uh, download on the GitHub, you can select the master branch or the dev branch. And if you select the dev branch, you can uh, download this code and compile it yourself. I just made some changes to incorporate Ethernet into it because uh, I'm using it with uh, my Ethernet board. And uh, seems to work perfectly for now. Oh, some other nice things. You can actually set the relay pin, the button pin, the IR pin, and the aux pin right from the interface, just like the LED channels. So no more custom compiling versions. You just go to, uh, okay, let's go to la la la, queen LED on info, digitally addressable LEDs. We have a dig uno. Let's go to the pinout and wiring guide. Ah, and the button, uh, on this board it's called button, on the old boards it's called GPO0. 
is connected to IO17, um, if I'm using an ESP32, okay, so button pin needs to be IO17. That's what you basically need to do to set up uh, WLED in the future. You take the pinout guide, you see, okay, L1C, which is called LED1 on the new version, that is uh, IO1, and L1D is either 16 or 3, depending where you have the jumper on. Okay, I'll uh, change that here, and that's actually changed in the new version, but yeah, it'll, it'll, I'll change that to reflect that. And then you just fill in the pin numbers, hit save, no more custom compiling, all done. So that's going to be really cool once that is stable and released.